Good morning, YouTube. This video will be about a short hike I took last October up in the Stevens Creek Canyon. This was on the paved section of the road below the locked gate where the open space district trails start. And a couple of years ago, I made a video about this point of interest on Google Maps that was labeled Laurel Park. And I'll put a link to that video up here in the upper right corner if you want to watch that. I had a few interesting comments from a couple of viewers on this video that had actually been to this place. There's a couple of hints that I might not be in the right place. And in fact, the point of interest on Google Maps has since been removed. When I made that video, I basically hiked along the road and look down into the creek to see if I could see any signs of this Laurel Park area that was supposedly had some swimming holes and slides. The point of interest was right where this power line here crossed the road. There's a power pole right next to the road and that seems to be the coordinates of this point of interest. So in that video I also hiked up the road a ways here and there's a quite a number of stone ruins up here, old foundations and rock walls and signs that there was something up here, some sort of structure. And in that video, I had just walked around right off the road a ways. And at that point, it was in the spring and the creek was really flowing pretty high. But last year in October, the creek had dried up. So what I did was I hiked over those stone ruins and down into the creek channel. Then what I did was I hiked down the creek and then there's a bridge right here. I hiked under that bridge down the creek here, which just runs right along the road. So there really wasn't much to see down here. And then there's another bridge that I hiked under and then over into this area where the creek swings out quite a ways away from the road and then back up to the road and then I hiked back on the pavement. I took some pictures here and let's take a look at those. So when I got down into the creek channel, there was this enormous rock wall. This is all loose stone rock wall that has been built along the creek bank. This is where the creek flows down here and someone has spent a lot of time building this rock wall. It's probably a good four feet tall, you know, over a meter tall, and it runs for quite a distance down the creek. It was obviously built to prevent the creek from eroding the bank here, and this is where all the stone ruins were up here. And the wall continues for quite a ways down the creek. It's falling apart in places here. The trees have grown up in there and pushed the rocks over. And then a little ways farther down the creek, if we look here, here's the map. So the rock wall was up near the top. And just a ways down from where the rock wall ended, here's the creek. I don't know if these trees were planted along the side of the creek or if they just naturally grew that way. But it looks suspiciously like they've been planted. You know, they're fairly regular spacing and it's in a pretty straight line. So I don't know if that was part of this area or not. But anyway, I just hiked down the creek, under the bridge, down the other side because there really wasn't much to see. So anyway, when I got under the bridge and I walked down here, I took a look at the map display on Gaia GPS and I saw that I was right next to this pond feature that's on the maps. And I've seen this pond for years on, it's on Google Maps, it's on the USGS Topo Maps, it's on the geocaching map. They all show this pond and I've never figured out exactly where it is. You can't see it from the road and there's no obvious place where this pond would be. And when I looked at the screen and it's like, I'm standing right next to this pond. I took a hike up out of the creek, so the creek is down here. But when I got up here, I noticed this is an old road right here. The road is on the bench above the creek and it's headed up the hill here. And you can see that right here. I was standing right there looking up this slope and there's a road that heads up that way. Anyway, I 
made a mental note that I need to come back and check out this road and then I headed up here to the left. There was a really steep bank and up at the top there was sort of a berm right here and looking down into this pond feature that's on the map. Of course it was totally dry but I could see how water could be ponded back behind here and it turns out this is actually a dam. I'll look at that in a future video. And then I hiked back down into the creek channel and down here on the side, this is where this little stream that comes down into the pond and then flows out of the pond into the main creek. And this is where that stream comes out. And this was a pretty good drop. There was a couple of uh, rock ledges. This stream comes over. I turned around and this is what the creek looks like going downstream. It was just kind of a, an interesting shot here. The real narrow creek channel. And then you've got this bay laurel tree that's sort of leaning over the creek and makes a tunnel here that you have to go under. And at the time I thought it was just kind of a neat photo but I'm glad I took this picture. So in October, I came over this way, walked down the creek until I got over to the road, and then I climbed up the creek bank onto the road here. And one thing I'm thinking of doing now that the creek is flowing is coming over here and hiking back up the creek to get to this area over here and take a look at it. But because of this photo, I know I can't get through this area if this is full of water here. So then I hiked back up the road here to, and this area here and then also on the other side of the creek is where they staged all their equipment and materials when they rebuilt these two bridges. There was this bridge and the bridge up here were rebuilt in 2016. I guess as part of that work when they got done the open space district who I think owns this land made them restore it to native habitat. And then a little farther up, once you cross the bridge, there's a gate here. Before, this just seemed like a turnout. Really nothing here as I recall. And they'd parked a bunch of their equipment and materials down here. And then after they finished, they planted everything and then they put up one of these signs which looks like a lot of the other open space district signs. They put up this same wording on their other signs. This sign was probably done by the county road department and the contractor. And the same thing with the gate. But yeah, they'll usually have like a, a sticker here on the post with an identifier for this gate. And just up the road, there's another gate that has MB12, which says Montebello Open Space Gate Number 12. And then up the road farther is MB11 and MB10. So logically, this should have like MB13 on it. So yeah, this is the marking on the bridge. So they label and it was rebuilt. That was 2016. And then you can look up this bridge number. I believe the 37C stands for Santa Clara County. And then 0605 is the actual bridge number. And you can look this up. There's a database that tells you, you know, what kind of bridge it is, when it was built, and the bridge just up the road that was also rebuilt in 2016 is 0604. I started out a couple of years ago looking for this Laurel Park feature that according to Google Maps was up here. I never really found that, but I found these old stone ruins here, old rock foundations, things like that. And then that prompted hiking over here to find these stone walls in the stream channel. And then as part of that hike, I found this pond and this old road over here. So I never even thought there was anything over here. Yeah, if anybody has any information on this Laurel Park area, like I say, it's disappeared from Google Maps. I don't know if somebody requested that to be deleted. You know, one person commented in the previous video that he said this Laurel Park area, he remembered it being 
farther down the road that it wasn't this far up. It was down closer to the Redwood Gulch Road. So I've got a few places that I need to look, but I'm just kind of working my way down the creek, looking at one area, look at another. Like I say, I started up here to look at this, and I found all this stuff down here. So this is just really interesting looking at all these old maps. So I'll show you some of this stuff on some of the older maps in the following video, but stay tuned for the next video. We'll take a hike over here and see what we can see in this area. And stay tuned for more exploring here. There's a lot of stuff in this area that I basically stumbled on by accident. Now I've got a whole bunch of trips planned in this area to look for stuff that's along here. Stay tuned for those videos. And as always, thanks for watching.